Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, we're out at Digital Hollywood, but I'm out here. Well, actually, we'll say we're on location. If this looks a little bit familiar to you, you might have seen these in episodes for NCIS Los Angeles, or otherwise known as NCIS LA. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. So today, the big news. Well, actually, one of the big news. Let's see. Half smears are no longer necessary annually for Obamacare. Well, yeah, they say it's because it produces anxiety with women. No, it's because everybody knew they were going to ration medicine. And uh, look at all those older members of Congress, the females that voted for Obamacare, that are not going to be happy when they find out that more stuff is being removed that was aimed at them. I know, those are things they recommend every year. Now, what is it, every three years? Because... It's too expensive. Oh, yeah. They may have something to do with that. And yes, another... Wait, should we say this another cell year? Um, company gets a loan 12 days... Look, 12 days after a file of bankruptcy. The Obama administration gave them a loan to keep the business in operation that was no longer in operation. Well, it had to do with the fact that it basically was a business that serviced the Teamsters Union. And the, the funny part about it, the, the person that owned the business they gave a loan to, besides being a longtime Democratic supporter, had a long history of his businesses collapsing. And they still thought that he was a worthy person to give another huge loan to. You mean it wasn't just because it takes them forever to prove loans? No, that, that you, they never, it shows that they don't even bother to check because the business wasn't even in operation when he got the check. Are you serious? Yeah, it, did, it folded entirely. An iPhone tells disappointing, long live the king, the king is dead. That's right. We've been, talk, we've been talking this week at Digital Hollywood, which is, if you're seeing this, you're obviously not seeing this because we're Digital Hollywood, that that they want to talk about the weaknesses of the iPhone and the iPad. There wasn't any, well, yeah. The same weakness that existed with the uh, Apple computer, which is basically when you sell as many of them you're going to sell, you can't sell any more of them. The iPad sales are down, iPhone sales are down, and even though that they sold in so-called record amounts, the record amounts were far less than what they thought they were going to sell. And the, for, the mark, for the first time in a decade, they missed their earnings mark, and they missed it by a large chunk. And it's not likely to get any better now because they put out a phone that everybody knew shouldn't have been put out. They also what, put out way too many phones. They put out way too many. I mean, uh, uh, Stephen Jobs would never have approved like a 80 million, uh, uh, 80 million cells because he basically godfathered those things in. You know, like 10 million here, 5 million yeah. here. So, and what happened was the market demand isn't that great for the iPhone 4. We, you've got an iPhone 4. What do you want with the iPhone 4S? They said they also know that the 5 will be coming, so they're not going to buy a, a, another phone after they bought this one. So what they did, they said they stopped on the iPhone 5, stopped on it for at least two years now. Well, yes, that's how long those upgrades are. So yep. People want to get their phone. That's right. And cell phone companies pledge to warn as plans approach limits. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, but the problem is how they warn you. Mostly if you get an online account, they stick it over in the junk file on your computer and you don't see it. <laughs> yeah, didn't they just have something today about how somebody had this astronomical phone bill? $200,000, which they knew was impossible. I mean, I mean, uh, okay, first of all, they send you text messaging on your, if you've got a cell phone, they can send you a text message. Most of the people don't have texting, so they don't use text messages, so if they see one, they don't answer it. And Kane now can beat Obama in the latest polls as Obama continues to sink in the polls. Oh, it doesn't make any difference because, uh, He's being underestimated. They said, well, you can't alienate all the people he's alienating. Well, he is kissing the backsides of just enough black voters and just enough Hispanic voters and the left the left wing of the party. I mean, this thing on Wall Street, it, they, 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 they came to a realization this morning. They're all left wing Democrats. All of them. There are no, there are no independents. There are no moderates. There are no Republicans. They discovered you know that these people are left-wing ideologues. Mm. So I don't know how it took them that long to come to it, but that and mainstream press has now discovered it. And McCourt's okay divorce deal that resolves the ownership of Dodgers. Well, only if the team can be sold, you know, or if the team can be capitalized. The problem comes is that they will, I think he'll prevail in the overall eventually in court saying, 
Well, we don't want McCourt to be the owner because we don't like McCourt, so he can't do a billion-dollar job. Uh, you know, yes, he can do the advertising rights for a billion dollars because if everybody ends up making money, but they want him out, and that's not a reason for a person in our country to be tossed out of uh, an ownership of a thing because other people don't like him. Well, we do, they start there, they're going to continue to do it. Oh, well, yeah, they try to do it anyway. They'll throw other people's out that are in, in the sports. I mean, they got they mar the owner of the Cincinnati Reds, they got rid of because they felt that she was obnoxious. So they got rid of her. And they, they're trying it with McCourt. McCourt isn't the, uh, an old Jewish woman. He is a, a real estate magnet, and he will not be pushed. And Richard Branson, New Mexico officials dedicate spaceport. Well, he's be, I think he's being sued already by the people Why? that thought they were going to be going up in these things by now, and they're not. It's basically, it's uh, the spaceport has been, I think we've been on that list for like seven years, and they've done nothing. So, you know, because no one, it, it, it's not uh, financially feasible, and if you have one accident, you basically shoot it forever, so. And New Hampshire's Democratic governor isn't caught up in 2012 yet. Well, yeah, because he's basically running against Obama. Well, it's also 2011. I know, but he's still running. He, he's, he's basically not campaigning by saying, I don't support any of the things that Obama approved of, so <laughs> that's not campaigning. <laughs> And just show me how to track a lost or stolen laptop technology. Uh, well, that's yeah, that's virtually impossible, folks. Because if your laptop is off, uh, uh, you know, if it's turned off, the the GPS system doesn't work, so you can't track the thing. And in ten years, your electric car could be recharged in just ten minutes. Not likely. The the there is no means of char. Okay, um, a quick charger cannot work on a battery that's the size of the back end of the automobile. And when they say it takes like eight hours to charge those batteries, it's going to stay maybe four to six hours because of the size of the battery. Quick charge won't work, folks, because you've got to do that 50 miles in your car. And that's, you know, an eight, ten hour charge, that's just reasonable. Of course, it ends up costing you more money than if you'd have bought gas. And Obama, Obama's job council, a look at pay packets of them. Yeah, they're, these are the people that he's railing against. They're all the millionaires and billionaires. Then not a single one of them is volunteering to have their pay. You know, to, you know, they're not in volunteering to have their pay cut. They're not volunteering to pay more taxes. Oh, you know, and this is just reminding me this morning, right before he came out, where um, actually I wanted to make this at the top, and I totally didn't think about it. Is Biden was trying to make it that if you did not support the jobs program, then you should feel responsible when there's rapes and murders because people didn't have jobs and were creating crimes. Well, no, they, they, basically the Democrats are desperate. I mean, the jobs program, they can't even get the jobs program through the Democrats because there, there is no, okay, it, 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 the way it works, is, it, there's the old saying that if you dig a hole, don't dig it deeper. He's trying to put a program in that didn't work the first time with only one quarter of the money that didn't make it work the first time. All it does, they, they said it's another it's another job program for uh, union people. And that's all. It, well, union people buy things. Well, no. What it does is a lot of this money is being paid on bills that they owe that basically contribute nothing to anything. Plus the fact they said that a government jobs program creates no jobs. All it does is keep jobs. And it will only keep them for one year. We're talking... He's going to raise a half a trillion dollars to put people to work for one year. They said it was like um, uh, a, a million or something, one to two million dollars per job. If you just put that money into businesses, you one know. One or two million, that's an awful lot of money. You realize how many people you could hire? But, but you just give them a million dollars if it's only going to last a year. But that's the way Obama, they, they just don't figure it that way. Because most of that money is actually going to people to getting reelected, so. And will currency manipulation feel like that's a trade war with China? Well, oh, absolutely, because the Chinese have told them, you, you know, we're not going to play by your rules. We're not, you know, first of all, they own all this debt, and the Democrats are saying we've got to teach them a lesson. Mm -hmm. Remember how the housing market collapsed? The Democrats had to teach the petroleum companies a lesson, so it gave, it gave the people a choice. Do we buy gas to go to our jobs and lose our house, or do we keep our house and not go to work. Mm 
and then lose the house anyway. They're, they're doing it all over again, so. Damn, a Monte Bubble is in the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Thank you. If you can never admit you're wrong, you must be a Democrat.